Let me see. It keeps like popping out. So it is what it is. You gotta work with what you got. So that's that's number one. Like make yourself look good from a visual standpoint because that's gonna take you a little bit, you know, up to the next level. If if your resume looks clean, it looks like you've spent some time on it. That's a huge, huge, huge advantage. Yeah. When you say the people were sending you stuff like that were not formatted, what exactly does that mean? And I would love to show you samples if I could oh, show you oh, on my computer. Okay. So I will literally walk around and show you guys on my computer. So somebody sent me a resume that I kid you not was 11 pages long. Wow. I don't need to know what you did every single day of the last 20 years of your life. I don't care. Give me the most relevant, the most recent, and if you want to show me your education, great, that's wonderful. In fact, I encourage you guys to always, always, always put your education in there because a hundred times, I'd say out of, you know, 101 times, most companies are going to want to know what's your education background, are you qualified. Um, my boss is a stickler. He will not hire anyone if they don't have their bachelor's. He's a pain in the butt. That's just how he is. Now, other companies, they don't necessarily care. It depends on the position. Um, and everyone's going to be a little bit different, but make sure you do outline your education. You don't have to put the year you graduated unless you feel the need to show your age. Um, I actually have my photo on my resume, but that is because the kind of work that I do, I kind of want my face out there just for people to know, like, not necessarily what I look like, but that I'm a professional. I used to work in TV news. I was a reporter.